Okay, so solo duelist to go out top mid or main to entry. Watch some Jing VODs. There are VODs where he's solo duelist. He told him not entry for the team. Who gives a f about what your random ass Diamond 1 teammate is yapping about, dude? This is the same reason Smokes players become passive or whatever. Because their Diamond 1 teammates go, Yo, stop fighting on Smokes, dude. Or stop dying, you're our Smokes. Or some shit like that. Like, dude, they're not... They don't understand the game, okay? And you don't need to be like, Oh, you're wrong. If your teammates go, Hey, Raze, come A main with us. Then go A main with them that game but you're you're going a main as if like these guys already got mad at you for for going cat on a split they didn't no way you want to play let's play i mean the call here is pretty clear right rotate through spawn get sage shield and then sage has res for this guy Huh? Huh? Enemy Basically, warrior, how are you missing this? You're 20 HP. You got a sage. Let's let's pretend that you're convinced that egg is the right call. Why aren't you calling sage over to heal you? So your teammates tree wanted to help out. You're 20 HP. You're alone. Helping out is going. Hey, tree guys. I'm 20 HP and I'm alone. A main. I can't help you. That's the same as helping. If, as long as if you communicate to them, I can't help you. Then what the f are they going to get mad about if they push in and die? Like, where were you raised? You'd be like, I told you I couldn't help you. I'm 20 HP. I was going to get a heal. Like, what do you want, man? You're, you're, you're over. You're defending bad decisions with, but what if they flamed me for making a good decision? That's your justification frequently so far. I, I need you to see that pattern. I go, why not X? And you go but what if my teammates get mad at me for doing the better thing this this is your response every time this mindset is giga l giga l super duper l it's going you're going to be hard stuck big fan of keeping the mental up no, no no this is the problem you're making this up you're making this up you do you understand that if i'm your teammate sage i'm mad at you for doing why i'm mad at you for pushing alone this is a made up cope it's not real you're not right you, your teammates won't get mad at you for doing the right thing more than if you do the wrong thing that's just not real it's not a thing if you play more correct valorant on average your teammates will get mad at you less on average they'll still get mad at you for shit. on average it'll be less though and so you're justifying your bad play with an incorrect conclusion Ace Cake Warrior. Raise Ascent Diamond 1. Oh, bad. Damn, this guy is in for the raise pick. You're chilling. All right, you were Diamond 1. Oh, bad. Okay, I, we got you to Ascendant before the Act reset. I've bad. Wow, this is so simple. You were this bad about it? Man, I'm about to just owe this guy a gift card for free. Check enemy economy ultimates before calling a strat. Good idea. Consider what weapons you have, what weapons they have when contesting space. Good idea. Call slower. Attack plays more often. Not all the time. Bet. Oh, and it's Ascent. Perfect. I'm going to cut to attack. We will come back to defense for obvious reasons. We have a decent defense half anyways. Go B. I think go B. Go B. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't mind providing some more reasoning. Let's see. Did we? I like B. I like B. Careful if someone is peeking me, man. Yeah. Unless somebody will be chamber for chat. Yeah. So like, look at our comp. Kind of interesting. No omen. Really annoying. Um, double recon. Okay. And then sage. So no, no flank trip either. So yeah, going B because they don't have KJ cipher makes sense. But it, it makes a lot of sense. So they're probably going to have Omen on A with plus one. Let's give him Phoenix because Phoenix likes to molly and flash here. It's pretty common. So let's say you're going to have to deal with Jet Chamber Reyna here. And Jet's going to be like here. Might fast flank. It would be my guess. And then Chamber. Yeah, he might peak B main or Reyna might peak B main. They're going to fight you. Okay. This makes sense. Hitting B makes sense. I would really lean into this though. Like Let's just pop drone insta or pop a fade dog insta. I don't think you need Boombot. I think you've got double recon initiator. Let's go Satchel. Don't know when we might use it, but I promise you I can pause at some point during this round. Down, unless you yeah, get one tap, where it would be good. Well. Save your drone for a 
Yeah, see, you're already saying save your drone or whatever. We got fade Sova, man. Oh, Phoenix is here. Easy, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, perfect. I've paused. Let's ignore the pacing. Can you give me comments on your B clear? Base cake warrior. Lazy is not clear. Anyone can say lazy. Let's not talk about lazy is correct, of course, but that's a gimme. Of course, the clear is lazy. I mean, maybe I'd pause and trick you. And there's nothing wrong with it. But what should we do differently? And don't say don't be lazy. Cleared angles more dedicated one by one. Eh, not really, no. And that's why I wanted to ask you. So when you have a guy behind you and you've gotten a pick, you've got Fade behind you. He's like here. You actually do not need to clear. Like you don't need to go boom, 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 boom. But you don't need to do this. Um, this is slow. In fact, just running is totally fine uh, because you've got Fade coming right behind you. Like you're gonna go one for one at worst if anybody's in these angles, except this one. Fade is not ready for this one. This guy. All all of lane was lazy, but it's like acceptably lazy because Fade's right behind you. And if there are any of these angles, Fade will trade. But now you drop like here and we see Fade is not ready for this. She's not. She's not even looking this way yet. And we got to be very careful about this guy. This guy will win rounds the enemy team. So when you're dropping down lane here, I just want you dropping close and like holding like this. And it's totally fine not to clear it right away. Okay. It, like it's honestly yeah. totally fine if you even let Fade peek first. And then you peek. The hell, you've got a frenzy. I keep track of my teammates on so crossing mode like this. Exactly, you don't. Why I'm saying running out here is good, and then just drop and hold this way. You, this, you, because your question is correct. You can't keep track of your teammates when you're crosshair mode, which is why instead you drop down like this and you wait, and now you listen. And you know what you're gonna hear? You're either gonna hear yeah. gunfights, or you're not gonna hear gunfights. If you hear gunfights. Son of a man, you get what I'm saying, right? So you stare at your crosshair this whole time, scaling out. I've made this mistake. I'm actually fixing this right now in my own play. I make this mistake when I'm autopiloting because I don't play that much duelist. You want to just sit here and wait and stare at your crosshair. Because now if they peek there. out, you see how it's good for us. Um, because they'll be exposing to two of you. They peek out. It's good. Hey, enemies on eco. We're on buy. Call a default. Autopilot. Just call a default. One three one. One three one, and it's a passive default. Like Sage plays here, Brim plays here, and then you can test mid. This is no good. Enemy spotted A. So you're looking a bit like me right now playing raise, which is no good. I'm hard stuck, immortal. Uh, Dope, I was actually pointing this out during my own VOD review yesterday. Uh, but this is even worse because they're on uh, eco. We don't want to be clumped up like this. Um, I mean, even on equal buys. Splitting A is going to be better for us on average, but it, it can be fine to come five every now and then. But not against Eco, man. They can be stacked. And like, let's pretend they're doing like a normal stack. So let's say they've got Phoenix, Jet, Reyna, Omen. All these guys are here. And the chamber was B and creeping up aggressively. This is pretty common in these stack formations where they'll have one guy go for like this play, especially when you have no trip. So you're going to get to a position where you either have to hit A or you have to like come re clear a chamber who's statistically going to be good for one and like get out defaulting okay for when you're on a buy round there on eco so don't call it def i'd say i would call it a default like um i don't come hey guys let's default and say nothing more but yeah i'd say let's one three one or let's run a default and yeah you can't be worried about them getting a gun sci-fi like if you're playing a guy here and a guy here they, they, they should know you you've got to put some trust into them at the end of the day like if we go watch like a pro ascent game they will run defaults like this Okay, I know what it looks like. I'm unpainting. <laughs> yeah, it's totally it's the best play here uh, because they might eco rush something. It's more common to see this. I call this more often on Lotus. My Lotus IGL is a bit better. Um, I'll call like this. Do, do, do. Um, again, we are on economic advantage. And I will specifically tell these guys to stay back in lobby and listen because uh, the enemy team might need. They might do whatnot. And if they hear the, the kitchen sink, getting thrown a then we're just gonna go see but every now and then teams are tricky 
on their eco rounds and they've actually set up a trap C. And so if we don't hear anything A is quiet, that raises a lot of alarms because players usually don't stack A and make no noise. And so if it's quiet A side, we'll pull everybody over. We'll push A. Starting default is about, it's like buying insurance. Um, I don't want this guy. Ideally, this guy over here should not fight them. If he hears them coming B main, he should say they're coming B main and you guys should group up and hit A. And this guy should just bail. Zoop. Ideally, because if they're making noise, pushing B main, it's probably multiple dudes. It's their eco run. They're probably stacked. So that's why we're starting this default is so these guys can collect information about a potential aggressive push from the enemy team because uh, it, it just gives away a lot. So if we look at the start of this round, let's pretend we're alone. We're just the defaulter A. Like if we hadn't thrown all this util, it, it's totally possible that we would have heard like a Reyna Lear or something. We, we've already burned so much util though. So that... Enemy spotted A. Can someone hold me under? Bring them Take down. Drone. Dog. Yeah. Satchel. Satchel. Good satchels. We forgot our nade though. I think you have plenty of time to throw a nade, like heaven. Satchel. Or dice. Bet. So it looks like Reyna was the one. Okay. You remember when I said people play like four and one? It really looks like here that they had Reyna alone on A. And so they probably did something B main. They could be flanking right now. Kill. We are dizzy. Okay. Um, I like the spot because we have the sage wall. Just keep in mind, I don't like this spot. It gets pop flashes a lot of the time. I'm picking up your contacts. So. Scanning ahead. I'll find you. One enemy remaining. This is fine. You want a flank? No, also heaven, but yeah. So here, you... oh my god! Don't we just call B on repeat? I had this on omen. Did those happen? No need to call it out. No, I mean like I would play against that. People go zero and twelve, and you know what zero and twelve people tend to do, chat? Well, they tend to go zero and thirteen. And we know the Phoenix plays B main. Tilted players will push shit more aggressively than they should. They'll take more fights than they should. Is perfect. Yeah, like you call slow play, but at this point, I'm giving you strike one, dude. It's ascent and we're doing this shit. What's stopping us from 131? One, one? What's stopping us? The only thing I can imagine stopping you would be you do something I tell you definitely not to do, which could be because I'm seeing it. You study this guy called Hooge and you study his raise gameplay to learn raise. And I swear, if you're doing that, you are setting yourself up for being hard stuck forever. I tell people not to do this. You study thousand RR play players and up my play is flawed in a million ways because being able to consciously notice something and subconsciously execute it is different uh we should not be 5a man it should be one through one don't actually watch your rank games good but it looks like it who do you watch because it could also just be a sign that your answer to that question is nobody jing doesn't jing go cat like every single round <laughs> how convenient Man, this Jin guy starts a lot, a lot of mid play. Oh, I can't see the map, but here he is main. Oh my God, he's going fast. Man. Is it a fake? Enemy spotted mid. Do you hear that? Did you hear Jet say enemy spotted mid? I heard that. Oh, it's a fake. What is that? What do you Whoa. 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 Okay, so one Jing VOD. Four rounds are five stack rush. Eight rounds are mid control. The one Jing VOD, of course, low sample size. But we're going to see this a lot in, um, in Jing VODs uh, because I've watched a lot of them. I, I know this. Um, the, uh, this is really ugly, dude. We, we are. We can't attack a set like this. Oh, bet. What do we call here? Match point. One last fight, everyone. We can do it. That case, solo duelist to go on top mid or main to entry. Watch some Jing VODs. There are VODs where he's solo duelist. It told him not entry for the team. Who gives a f about what your random ass diamond one teammate is yapping about, dude? This is the same reason Smokes players become passive or whatever, because their diamond one teammates go, yo, stop fighting on Smokes, dude. 
or stop dying you're our smokes or some shit like that like dude they're not they don't understand the game okay and you don't need to be like oh you're wrong if your teammates go hey raise come a main with us then go a main with them that game but you're you're going a main as if like these guys already got mad at you for for going cat on a split they didn't Pitch, can you buy brim? anyways i think this is our only default so far so i want to see the call they're not rotating really quick now. I feel like we could fake one side if we have people there. ready to hit. Not a default. No Wait. way. Grenade. You want to play? Let's play. I mean, the call here is pretty clear, right? Rotate through spawn, get siege shield, and then Sage has res for this guy. Huh? Huh? Basically, warrior, how are you missing this? You're 20 HP, you got a sage. Let's let's pretend that you're convinced that A is the right call. Why aren't you calling Sage over to heal you? So your teammates tree wanted to help out. You're 20 HP, you're alone. Helping out is going, hey tree guys, I'm 20 HP and I'm alone A main. I can't help you. That's the same as helping. If as long as if you communicate to them, I can't help you, then what the f are they gonna get mad about if they push in and die? Where were you, raised? You'd be like, I told you I couldn't help you. I'm 20 HP. I was going to get a heal. Like, what do you want, man? You're, you're, you're over. You're defending bad decisions with, but what if they flamed me for making a good decision? That's your justification frequently so far. I, I need you to see that pattern. I go, why not X? And you go, but what if my teammates get mad at me for doing the better thing? This, this is your response every time. This mindset is giga L, giga L, super duper L. It's going, you're going to be hard stuck. Big fan of keeping the mental up. No, 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 this is the problem. You're making this up. You're making this up. You Do you understand that if I'm your teammate, Sage, I'm mad at you for doing why? I'm mad at you for pushing alone. This is a made up cope. It's not real. You're not right. You, your teammates won't get mad at you for doing the right thing more than if you do the wrong thing. That's just not real. It's not a thing. If you play more correct Valorant, on average, your teammates will get mad at you less. On average. They'll still get mad at you for shit. On average, it'll be less, though. And so you're justifying your bad play with an incorrect conclusion. It's not a correct conclusion. Your teammates are not going to get mad at you if you call a default, bro. Like, what? They're not going to get mad at you if you say, Yo, Sage. I'm 20 HP. Let's cancel the A hit. I want to get healed and we'll try to revive Jet together. They're not going to be like, oh, fuck you, Rage. We're hitting A. What do you mean? Bro, they're... they're... Okay, we should have smoked the cross, but... Hey. We split. One tree, one. Hey, yeah, you got that coming. Enemy. Um, you generally when you play on this box, you play here and you wait to jump up until contact is made. Yeah, our sage literally threw an orb line up for us on the split. This guy's been waiting for you to split all game. Let me see this pre-round. Super easy to pick off. I swear, if you're not the one who called it. Okay, I got my ult. Good old A side. Just kinda instant. Reloading. Yeah, I think we need to split A. <gasps> Beast. I'm gonna satchel up camp. I'm on my way. Wow, she just has an a lineup. Satchel out. Satchel out. <laughs> like bro, your sage has been waiting all game to support your split. She literally has a slow orb lineup for you. She's been waiting all game to support you. And you've just been calling A's. She has a slow orb lineup. That's the craziest shit I've ever seen. Usually people pick Sage because they just want to get carried. You know it's true. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Time to stuff back up. She actually has a slow for this? What do you even line up with like that? I'm a beast, bro. Somebody sign me. It should go a bit deeper, yeah. but come on. I just made one. I can throw that. It's right here. Boom. That, that's the huge lineup. It's not that good. It's not that good to be clear. It needs to land like here. But I digress. 
the one the, let's see do they get do they get mad at you for this now to be clear you shouldn't be mid alone we have two initiators like shouldn't we bring fade with us or sova probably fade because sova likes to dart from main areas on average but you might not know that and that's fine if you call sova over but going alone is kind of questionable and then using like no boom bot is very questionable oh. if there's this big threat in this area now and we don't boom bot it and we don't nade it and that's kind of crazy to me it's right here you just died man like this tells me you've never split tree in your life like you do it so rarely because people will play right here to fight a man and like you just died to this guy for super free like you're cheaper than free you're you, like what you know i said you had easy notes but i'm pretty sure five stacking in the mains eight times in the vod is a strikeout that's not slower attack this is not what i'm looking for like this starting formation is not slow i don't care if you contact explode that's not slow play so maybe the notes were unclear i'll rewrite that one contact explode is not slow though playing slow is like we need to gather information and make a decision after that and your team comp has two recon initiators which is kind of like begging to king play slow also it's ascent which is the default map y you could slap a gold player on this map and they could throw together a decent default maybe not gold but you get what i'm saying it's the most common defaulted map where you one three one i need to see this like a non-zero amount of times man they, they were opping for god's sake like this guy was opping and we didn't even bother to try and collect info on where they were we were just like what was it a and it's like what they also have a super tilted phoenix who's likely to push out into your default and die for free it, it happened on the round stage head res we just uh we rushed into it after that yeah it's here so like take this round this round you kind of accidentally default and you see that their jet is already pushing up into our default now our default sucks like this guy's just holding and like you're making noise contesting a main this way when you should be like you you can see what's wrong there because we didn't call default we called fake it's different we need somebody just waiting outside a main here this guy should be like tucked playing off a of contact maybe even because these guys push they push a lot we're lacking the patience uh let me i'm just gonna you're gonna run it back I don't want to look at defense yet. Contact explode does not classify as slow play. Slow play. Do, 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 do. Collect information. Keep options open. Decide on an option at some later decision making event. Split is a good example of this where I'll call a default split attack, which is like one, three, one. Uh, frequently, this will be like a cipher. This will be like an omen and omen will smoke male you'll take mid control you'll take ropes control and then you'll play it from there because you haven't decided yet like you might come back to b maybe your omen gets a pick or you he can flash and you've made contact and they're stuck on the right side heaven or maybe the, your cypher has worked up ramps for free and you call a we split a but the point is we don't know we don't commit to a play at the start of the round Every single one of the calls you made this whole half said, let's do this and end on this bomb site or this bomb site. Like you knew where you were going to end immediately at the start of the round. You said, we're going to fake A and B. We're going to contact explode A. And then maybe halfway through the round, you're like, whoa, cancel, cancel. And it's like, well, why are we committing to like ending on a bomb site so early every round? It does not. I'm not saying uh, play slow every round. I'm saying the opposite. In fact, we need more contrast. I want you to keep rushes in your play, but I need you to make the slower rounds way, way, way slower. Zendikar is also what I'm talking about. Zendikar is the opposite problem of you, actually. Zendikar only plays slow <laughs> and you like only play fast. Hey, Woohoo Jin here. Did you know that I stream every weekday doing VOD reviews and playing ranked? If you enjoy the videos, the best way to support me is to show up live. If this video was just uploaded, it's very likely that I'm streaming right now. All of my coaching is free, but that means I need to make money in other ways. Please consider supporting me with a discord subscription if you can afford to do so i run many live events for my tier 3 subscribers as a thank you for letting me pursue my passion every day at 2000 subscribers i'll be booking a flight out to eu and to apac to play in houses on your servers thank you for supporting me